guys, welcome back to What's New, episode 3. Today, uh, I got a brand new camera, and that's the Canon T3i. I'm really excited. So, yeah, um, today's episode, we have a lot of news, so let's get started. Alright, first up, Theory 11 has released a deck of cards called the Guild of Artisans. This deck is an awesome deck. It also comes in um, a box. This box is wood, and it contains four decks of artisans. The only thing I don't like is that it's $50, so yeah. Make sure to check out the Guild of Artisans deck from Theory 11. David Blaine has released three new products. First is the Silver Split Spades. Um, this deck is an awesome deck. It's released it a few days ago now, so make sure to check that out. Also, um, hold on. They have the White Lines Variety Box. Sorry, it took me that long. Uh, this White Lines Variety Box basically contains uh, four each, four of each color. So four red, four black, and four blue. So one of those decks would be signed. So yeah, enjoy. David Blaine has also released it a giveaway. Wait, no, it's a hol holiday pack. This pack contains a DV autograph decade of magic DVD. It's an awesome DVD. I really want it. But yeah, and also it will contain three decks of cards: the stripper deck. That sounds wrong. The uh, invisible deck. I wait. The yeah, and the my reading deck. The, one of those decks will be signed and you'll get an autographed deck in. Alright, next up is Dan and Dave. They released the, the deluxe box set where it contains three, um, three decks of cards and that's the entire Smoke and Mirror series. Those cards are reprints though and they have a different logo, so yeah. And that is $85. So yeah, if you have that money, go check it out. It's great. To it's a great series, so yeah, they're coming to it. Also, to conclude, um, Dan and Dave also released it, the uncut sheets for the all the way from the V1s to the V7s, which are carbon. So yeah, make sure to check those out. You'll also get matching deck cards. Then they've also released a lot. Um, they released the D playing card canister. This is basically a card case. It's kind of like the D&D variety box, but it's I think it's metal, I'm not sure. But it's very hard and really good, solid for protecting your cards and storing them. But the price tag is so high, I, I don't think I'll ever get it. Lastly, in the deck column, we have the Fathom deck, or the Fathom, Fathom I think, from Illusionist. This has a water theme to it, and it is a great deck of cards. Make sure, make sure to check out Illusionist. And also, uh, the Black Artifice too, so. Yeah, check out Illusionist. All right, back to Illusionist. Um, as you can see in this picture, there might be a blue LTD deck. Um, that's quite weird. So yeah, there might be a blue LTD deck that Illusionist will release, but we're not sure yet. This might just be like a picture edited with Photoshop or something, but we're not sure yet. So yeah, stay tuned for more news on the blue LTD deck. All right, first up in the tricks category is Edge by Matthew Beach. <laughs> And it's hard to say, not a bad word. Um, Matthew, Matthew Beach has released an edge and it's basically where you select, select a card and you can reveal it in a very unique way, as you can see right now. And it's very, very unique. So make sure, make sure to check out um, Edge, it's a great trick. And it's available on Theory 11 for DVD. The poker test by um, Penguin Magic is a really cool test, sort of. <laughs> it's basically a color change, a back color change, and also a card change. So you show them five blank cards, and then they magically turn into the aces. Wait, and then they <laughs> change it to a full, f full out royal, <laughs> royal, royal flush. I'm really sorry about this. And also the backs changed from red to blue, so yeah, that's an awesome trick for 25 bucks. So make sure to check that out on PenguinMagic.com. All right, at number three is Stitch by Alex Colley, Alexander Colley. Um, this is basically where you take a 
torn in your jeans and you just magically rub it and it kind of just heals itself. It's very magical. Your spectators will love it and will freak out for sure. And number two is Regeneration by Blake Voy, also known from the Deary 11 team. This is a bit pricey, but I think it's really worth it. Um, it's where you take a card, a torn card, and you 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 swallow the torn part, and then you magically place it back without any slides. This is self-working almost. And each gimmick set. Wait, Blake Voice said each gimmick takes tw a full 24 hours to make. So yeah, make sure to check it out. If you have the money for it, go. And finally, at number one, which I have right now, is Hole, The Hole by Peter Egging. This trick is an awesome trick. The gimmick is incredibly genius. You will not guess this gimmick. And it's also very, very organic as well. And so instead of a hole puncher, you use a Sharpie marker to pierce a hole, and then the hole will animate to from one side of the card to the other. So check it out, $35, it's a great trick. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Um, hope you subscribe. It's This is my series that um, is my po most popular series I ever got. So yeah, make sure to stay tuned to my channel or subscribe, and we'll have these, I'll try to make these every week what's new but yeah this has been what's new episode three we have a lot of new products this week so yeah make sure to check them all out see you guys next time